I guess first off, I, I, I'm just wondering as, as you, I, and I know it's immediate and you're, you're still turning over this game, but when you look back at the season, what are your initial thoughts? And then also, what are your thoughts in, in terms of the context around which so many things happened this year, starting with, uh, you know, having to lose the French wingers uh, to having to rebuild out of that, the injuries, of course, and not just the big injuries, but different timely injuries, not having Ricky during this uh, during this last push. Um, and I'm wondering how those two things coexist. Thank you. Yeah, Scott, I, I appreciate it. I, honestly, I'm just trying to process tonight, uh, you know, before getting into the big, big picture. And there's a, there's a lot of things to to discuss that occurred over the course of the season that, that are worth a much you know, probably a bigger discussion and breakdown at some point. But, uh, you know, tonight we came out in a, in a, a must-win game and, uh, again, con conceded to get ourselves behind pretty quickly. Um, managed to equalize. We actually had a couple really good chances even maybe to get in front of this game, I think at 1-1 and even at 2-1 to go 2-2, Douglas and, and Sharpie. I mean, if you can handpick the guys you want to get chances like that, those are probably two of them. And then uh, and then we concede the third and, and <clears throat> we're chase, we, we at that point we're shifting and, and we're trying to just put some, some attack on the field and, and see if we can't get ourselves back into it. And, uh, you know, tonight is a... Uh, <clears throat> It's a microcosm and and of of you know what's been going on. We're just we we're a little disjointed in the defensive side. Fundamentals defensively are are lacking in times, and and we're paying the price, you know, for for our breakdowns. And <clears throat> it's just so difficult to to have to score three four goals to to win games. And and uh, I don't blame the defenders. I think it's just it's a collective thing and tonight the spaces got really big I felt like guys were ice skating a little bit on the field and and the spaces were big and we were very isolated sometimes one-on-one -on -one defending and um, and that's when you can get really exposed and, and I thought that started to to really uh, take over so again I, you know Scott I know I'll see you many many more times between now and in the short future and we can get into the big big picture but I, I'm just trying to process where we're at right now and uh, and then we can get into you know all the things that occurred. But we we've been we've been chasing this season from day one in some ways because of everything. And and you know today we got a little bit put out of our misery maybe. And from that perspective, but we are um, this group I I know will fight the last two home games to try to uh, give our fans something at least uh, down the stretch to appreciate and to to see. So, but I uh, I think everyone in this this. Everyone is disappointed in, in tonight and where we're at. Uh, and I've, I've got to think there's there's great disappointment just in the last few games, um, you know, it being in must-win situations. Yeah, you know, I, when I, I look at the last two in particular and we, you know, we give up a lead pretty late, uh, which is a drop of two points. And then we were in the death yesterday or the other day, last game for a point, which could put us three points up of where we are now, and we might be we might be having a you know a slightly different discussion or a slightly different approach to things. But um, all all through the course of the season, you know, we've had we've had situations where I thought we you know, and you, you go through this sometimes during tough years. You, you there's points you should take, and then there's points that uh, you don't deserve, and then there's uh, <clears throat> and and you know there's points that you get that you do deserve and I, and I think when you aggregate it out on the season you will uh, we'll have a lot of both uh, we'll have a lot of points that we feel like we should have taken and we'll have a lot of we'll have some points clearly that or we don't have points that we thought we could have done better with and, and there's, a, there's a lot of that when you go through a season is a journey and this season felt like five seasons worth of uh, challenges inside of one season and and uh, we couldn't we couldn't uh, manage all of it and get ourselves uh, to the playoffs in, in the final stages. So I don't know any other way to put it right now. Thanks, Greg. Mm -hmm. Nice little good, Josh. Hey, Greg, thanks for the time. Appreciate it. Um, just wanted to know sort of what you told the guys whenever you went into the locker room after this game. Obviously, I'm sure it's, it's pretty disheartening. The 5-2 scoreline is pretty, pretty lopsided for you guys and to be eliminated from the playoffs. What sort of the, the message that you gave them and maybe how do you approach the next two games? <clears throat> yeah, I, I think everyone is, 
you know, feels the the weight of the moment and the loss and, uh, you know, the loss running away, you know, a lot of that is, uh, <clears throat> there's a portion of that where you start chasing the game and you start to get really stretched out and, and, uh, and that's that. So, I mean, for me, <clears throat> honestly, I feel like the group, uh, with, with everything that it's endured, uh, you know, through injuries, off the field, stuff, whatever, things just going on around, some things that none of these guys had anything to do with, um, and the unfortunate of big injuries that uh, that came that, you know, like I said, I, I spent seven years in, in Toronto and I had we had one ACL and we've had three ACLs this year on top of other issues that we lose mul multiple players is just... Um, is difficult and this group has fought every single game and um, not always clearly not always to the to the perfect you know result or to the perfect sort of uh, performance but they've they've battled and, and tonight this one got away from us you know we battled a lot of games we've kept them tight we've been in there fighting uh, and the guys that have joined us has helped, helped to give us a lift and the guys who've been grinding all year have been continued to grind and you know, tonight it got away from us in a in a must win where you you know maybe there's a little bit of extra stress of being on the road and having a must win and you know they're going through a coaching change which you don't know what you're going to necessarily get off of that and and so there's just there's a guy but the guys the guys battled I mean we scored the last goal in this game and we we stayed in it we didn't just uh, guys didn't just shut it down they kept you know they kept pushing for it and and. I think that's a lot of character, you know, and sometimes in tough moments just to see the positive character and this group is willingness to work together and to fight for each other and to stick together and uh, shows that this group has a lot of character. Okay, it wasn't, we weren't perfect in, in performances for sure, but, uh, but there's something to be said for that in a year that's had a lot of difficulty to have that kind of character and stay together with, as a group through the entire thing and we'll finish it off in the right way the last two games for sure. So. Uh, that's what I said to them. I'm proud of them for that. But we, we made we made a lot of mistakes, which is why we're not in this thing. But we we fought with a lot of character, I think. John. And this is probably ancillary to everything else. But did you see any plays that you thought should have been uh, VAR or looked at a little closer? And do you think possibly with just the single camera angle, that's all that we were shown? I'm not sure if there were any more um, because of the strike and everything that was going on at the field. Do you feel that negatively impacted the game at all? Possibly, you know, the one that <clears throat> the one that gets me. There's a couple of times. Look, I get it. You know, Renoso dribbles to the middle of the field and falls down, so he gets a free kick with very, very limited touch on him. He knows what he's doing. He's trying to set up a nice free kick for himself, and then, you know, go flip, flip about five minutes later. Ross trying to dig one out and kind of gets bumped from, gets pushed a little bit. We'll call it what you want. My point is that the contact between the two of them wasn't far off of each other. They get a call to free kick. We don't. It's not like I don't necessarily think either of them are gross fouls, but it can't be one is and one isn't. I think they're in the same ballpark, and and so I don't know. There's there's other situations maybe, but uh, I don't. I would have to go back and, and review it. For me, it was trying to process a lot more through the game how I could try to help the team from my position to give us uh, the opportunity to shut things down from a defensive standpoint, take care of some of the things that I thought were giving us problems and and continue to try to create chances. I was way more in that mindset than, than worrying about uh, you know what was, wasn't happening from that, that other side, even though I was frustrated sometimes, yes. Okay, thanks, Rick, appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Next, we'll go to Damien. Hey, Greg. Um, hey, Damien. As a former defender, and you watched the way the goals went in the last couple of weeks here, what do you think, what could you have done to sort of work the group through this? Um, it stretch it, or is there anything you could have done? I mean, if you, if you were a player, or yeah, I mean, if you you get in and you decide, dissect each of these goals, it's it's crazy because there's some things that are consistent and there's some things that are very, you know, individual of, in nature, you know, and so sometimes it's <clears throat> I would just like for an individual to make to do a little bit better job or a couple guys just to do a better job in a situation. I think uh, there's times when collectively we need to be a little better. There's times where, you know, I, this, the second goal, 
in the first half that happens, we, we go driving a ball forward kind of out of control and we lose it and then it comes right back at us. So how we lose possessions, the decisions we're making in possession have also hurt us on the defensive side because they've put us in these these crisis moments. And so there's a, there's a lot of little pieces. I think, you know, if we could not have, you know, <clears throat> if we had a group that's played a bunch of games together and, and, you know, some consistency within the group and the back line and consistency through some of our areas on the field, you, you get guys whose who's comfort level together, they understand their nuances with, of each other, their movements are cleaner, their... There's things inside of that that <clears throat> that can help. I believe defending well. At times, there's a lot of individual pieces to defending. It's still it's a collective thing. And if you are, uh, you know, if you're in sync and sliding and getting to where you need to, and you're moving together, and your distances are very good, and you're, you know, all those things are are right, then you can minimize the amount of these types of of moments and incidents that we're seeing. And so. Um, but we've had a lot of we've had a lot of new faces and that are that are coming in and getting getting repetitions throughout the course of the year because of injuries and because of different things and we and it showed our gaps kind of showed inside of that at, at times and um, yeah that, that's no excuses it's just the reality of where we were and when when your gaps when you have gaps in the collective sometimes then it really requires the individual defending to be just really spectacular because you get a lot of guys will get isolated in certain moments and things start to to happen you know we've had some deflections not go our way we've had some clearances like today they go right back into the middle find their guy they score there's a lot of there's a lot of different things to give up you know the quantity of goals that we kind of have over this stretch it's there's a lot of things that have to have to occur and, and even in some of the games I felt like collectively we actually defended okay and we didn't give away many chances but when we did they were just big chances that ended up in the back of our and our of our net and so um, look a, a lot of this is there's a lot of factors inside of it, you know. There's there's not one, and there's things that, um, for sure, that I would do, uh, would like to do, and, and it just requires it's training field time, it's repetition, it's getting guys, you know, getting reps together again. There's a lot of things like that, but you you, you we only have is what we have at this time of year when things are going. We only have the amount of time, and we were. Uh, you know, we were shifting guys around based on health and, and availability and different things like that. And so, look, at the end of the day, we still needed to do our job and we still needed to do it. We're all professional players and, and we're all uh, out there to try to, to, to uh, do the job the right way. And then so looking ahead for uh, at least next week, um, uh, Mark Delgado, I know he was had a concussion issue. What do you think his status is for uh, next week? <clears throat> I'm optimistic. You know, part of it was he just didn't have enough days to get through the, the protocol. And so, you know, player safety comes first. And if you don't have the days through the protocol, you can't speed it up. You can't rush it no matter how much you want to play or how good you feel. You have to go through the steps. And so Mark has to go through the steps. He, he's making the right progress that he needs to. And, and um, we'll see as we get back and he completes all those steps, his availability as we move into next week. And you know, same, it's just same with Ricky. It's just he's got to be able to complete the tasks that he needs to be able to complete to be healthy and to be on the field and to, to you know, be safe, but also and to be able to help the team. And, and so he still has, a you know, a couple steps that he needs to make in order to, to be there. So we'll have to keep that in assessment, and as well as Chris. They're, they're all kind of in return to play process, but it's, it's still a uh, – <clears throat> It's still whether they can they can get to where they need to get in the timeline that they need to get there. Thank you. And we'll wrap up. Alex, you have a question? Uh, we'll wrap up with Rob. Hey, Greg. Uh, thanks for the time. Uh, with two weeks, uh, well, two home games left, um, what are you looking to see out of the team? Um, and then what are uh, you personally looking to uh, accomplish and, and get out of the team in the last couple games. Yeah, I mean, what I'm looking for the group is just to continue to fight all the way to the end and, and to come home and perform at, a, you know, at an expected level for each guy to, to, to do their best, to give their best and to fight and to work as a group. And, uh, and, uh, and of course, we, we would love to perform better than we did tonight, but perform and, and score goals. And I'd love to see us actually get a shutout. That would be nice. But I just think that 
uh, we have to see this out in a very, very professional manner for our fans, for our club, for for also the character that the group has shown during the course of the season. I think we just have to, we have to do that. Um, I think there'll be some opportunities for guys inside of this as well to gain a little bit of experience here at the end of the year that can you know that can hopefully serve them well going into an off season in preparation for a new season. But there's also going to be um, you know some guys that that have an opportunity just to continue to help the team be a stable and 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 perform and, and play well down the stretch and so if we can uh, play spoilers a little bit the last couple of games and that's another role we can play but I, I think we really want to to perform at our best level and, and go into the offseason um, on some good performances thanks for your time Greg thank you